on this Freaky Friday. Hey, you know Freaky Friday. Always something freaky going around on Friday. Today I got a special one for you. Today we are gonna be doing two tree jobs. Today is the video where I actually share with you ninjas how I run my tree crew and how I go about tree business. And a lot of us lawn care guys, you know, we want to get into, so, okay, let me back up. When I started lawn care, I found out very quickly that lawn care, you know, is a um, seasonal work and the grass part does definitely slow down and die down. So I wanted to come up with different uh, ways and different ideas to generate more income. I wanted to get into trees. Well, at first, when I first got into it, you know, I was like, okay, there's so much information here. I don't know if I could squeeze all of this in today's video, but I will do my best, so bear with me. So if you want to get into tree work, it is a whole nother ball game. Uh, you've got more insurance that you need to get. It's very dangerous. And not to mention, you need to know what you're doing. But I wanted to be a part of it. So I started to like, you know, do the little finder's fee, connect with a couple of other tree companies, and I would just pass on the work and 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 just get like i don't know 100 bucks for a finder's fee or something well i was okay with that but you know i really wanted to reap the rewards i wanted to be a part of this i wanted to uh be able to be more in control so to say and and, and make more money and so i'm sharing what all of you ninjas this is because maybe this will help you and this will be something you never thought of and you can generate some more income and really uh you know boost up your sales but so what I've done is I've connected with a tree crew, okay? Uh, and and I'll get to the part why I call them my tree crew because they are my tree crew. They are on my customer's property. They're doing a job that's my job. So I've connected with a tree crew that, you know, we have a legitimate legal agreement. And so the agreement is you know, you represent me, you represent my company, and you work for me when you're doing the jobs that are mine. And of course, this is with the owner. Uh, the employees, you know, you'll see some new faces, old faces, because employees change just like they do in lawn care. And so, uh, you know, a couple of things that we have, we don't have it today because it's cold, everybody's good hoodies, but you know, like, hey, you know, you wear my shirts, you represent my company. If there's any questions or anything, I, I need to be fully aware because I'm in control of the job. Uh, same thing with the customer. I have control with my customer as far as pricing and stuff, and I reap the rewards. Not to mention, I don't have a lot of time during the summer because the bread and butter of my company is lawn care. But during the winter, I have more of that control. I have more of that time where I can invest in doing the cleanups, and all they do is bring the tree down for me. I do the cleanups. Um, and things like that. So I am reaping the rewards even more. So that is how I go about my tree business. And, uh, you know, I call it, you know, you know, people ask me, do you have a tree crew? And I say, yes, because I'm not lying. I do have a tree crew. They work for me. They're on my property, my customer, and I'm in control of everything. A lot of people, they'll do the whole pass on the job and then let them handle it. And then, you know, you either get a little finder's fee or something. When I wanted to get into tree business, like I said earlier, I wanted to reap the rewards more. I didn't want just the finder's fee. So I wanted to be in control. And I had to go through a couple of tree companies uh, until I found the one that was the right fit for me and I was the right fit for them. And we work really well together. Speaking of, the owner is a very, very, very good friend of mine. And so, you know, he works well with me i work well with him but he understands and all the people that work for him understand that they all work for me when they are on the job sites that are my customers so hope that explains a little bit and if that's something you're wanting to get into um you know look lawn care is great and you can find work year round yes it will slow down of course but you can find work year round but, uh, you know, you have to outsource and find different ways of making money. You know, just like if you're trying to get into mulch, trying to get into shrubbery, maybe you're trying to get into like treatments for the yard. Basically the same thing, I'm working with the third party company uh, that does all the treatments for my properties that I just got started last year. Uh, the only difference there is they don't really work for me. They work for themselves, for their own company. And uh, you know, the customers are aware of that. So the only difference here is 
this tree company actually works for me when they're on my customers yards now very important make sure of course when you are signing uh, a legitimate agreement contract make sure you know they carry full insurance because you have to have full insurance on tree business and is a complete it's a completely different biz uh, insurance than you would normally get some liability insurance for a lawn care company so make sure you know they carry that and it's always on file and up to date so in case god forbid an emergency or something that they are covered uh we have it all in legalized in the paperwork so it, it it's a nice way of saying you know you're reaping the rewards more than just getting a finder's fee and uh, it works for me it's worked for me now for years i love it i'm more involved during the winter because i have more time uh, I don't really have that much time to be involved during the summer and except sometimes I'll drive by check on them Sometimes I'll just uh, Come by and make sure the job is complete and then I pick up the payment ultimately This is my tree crew for my job at the time with my customer. Does that make sense? Does that make sense ninjas? Of course it does look I'm solo at the moment busy bees not with me. He had a last-minute uh, kind of unexpected out of nowhere a uh, call from a teacher that they got some kind of a class so it's unfortunate and it does suck but uh, it is what it is he'll join me a little bit later and uh, you know enough of that jibber jabber I think I've talked enough hope that's helped you guys uh, this is how I do it and it's worked for me uh, but it's all legalized it's in paperwork uh, you, are, you know we're fully insured and again for me ninjas it was all about making sure there's all different types of ways of having generating income than lawn care and that can be trees that can be uh you know uh, spraying company treatment companies that can be you know heck you could probably even do it into roofing and guttering and stuff like that uh matter of fact my tree crew they will do gutter cleaning for me as well uh, if it's certain gutters that I am not comfortable with or I just don't have the proper equipment to take care of if I can do some gutters myself I will and as you have ninja seen me in some of the past videos if there's small size tree jobs that I can do then I will do those so I don't have to bother them and uh, I reap the rewards and I make the income so anyway hope that's helped you but enough chitter chatter because I know you ninjas are all about the action so without further ado let's go this was the house that we did the big tree job right here in the front um, I think it was last year or maybe the year before so this particular job is a tree in the back and we're using a man lift uh, to get to because it's right next to a fence I got my cup of Joe power shoot design appreciate for the mug so let's get to it so here we are we got the man lift we got Adam up there chopping up at the smaller limbs first. And we got two ninjas down here just chopping up, you know, into smaller sections. The customer has requested on this job, especially on the logs, to be at least about five foot because they are keeping all the brush from this tree. This man lift goes up to 50 feet. We rent this. Would be really nice to, to own one of these, but they're about a hundred grand. These are not trees. See how it's kind of like. Yeah. Is it 
opening in the middle of it. Ah. So like a milkweed, kind of know how a milkweed grows? Yeah. It's kind of the same, same family. Interesting. So this is what you would call a woody weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A woody weed. weed. They do not hold up well to tension. So uh -huh. like, whereas trees like to bend before the yeah. snap, yeah. they just snap. Wow. <laughs> I would have never known that. So that's a woody weed. Yeah, technically. Or a junk tree. Or a junk tree. <laughs> So we're setting this up right here so we can go ahead and reach about two or three of these limbs that are real low that are almost touching the uh, back porch and one of the key things with this is you want to make sure you're on a level ground and so we're going to be using cinder blocks as you can see and here's how you find out if you're on level ground or not ninjas uh that is the tree system that i have uh designed for myself it is a little different from your uh norm i guess you could say because a lot of people that don't do trees they will just pass it on to a tree company um i don't i don't really uh, i wanted to be more involved in that so anyway that's just what it is it's worked out for me now i've been doing it for years and um you know it's it's doing pretty good now as far as the customers at the end of the day it's none of their business really i uh how i take care of the work if i am stating that i can take care of the job then i can take care of the job um and i if i claim that i am fully insured i'm fully insured um I, honestly people don't care customers don't care how it gets taken care of as long as they know you're fully insured and uh, you've got some professionals, whether it's yourself or somebody else, and that it's gonna get done. I already got paid for the first job. I'm gonna go ahead and charge the card on file for the second job, and then um, we'll call it quits for today. I have to go quote two yards, but I don't know. I was gonna do it yesterday, and uh, we lost time on the pressure washing, and then now with this today, I don't even know if I'll make it today. At the end of the day, the simplicity of it all is the customer only st the customer only still deals with one individual and that is me or you. The thing about passing on work, when you refer somebody ninjas, your name is on that. <laughs> so, if I'm going to refer something to somebody and I still am going to have my name on it, then why not have my name on it and just do the work? and be responsible for it and still reap the rewards and you know to me it just made no sense look if you if i refer somebody if i tell my customer hey you know i got i got a pressure washing company that really does a good job pressure washing i don't do pressure washing just an example and then they call this company up the company comes out and they do a crappy job how how's that going to look on me ninjas that's not gonna look good. And what that's gonna tell my customer is, Nick has poor judgment. You know, you recommended this guy, you claimed that they do really good work and you know, they cheated me out or they didn't do a good job or they just took my money and uh, didn't finish the job or whatever. So that, you know, when you refer somebody to somebody, until that job is fully satisfactory and complete, your name's on that. I don't care how much you think it is or not, it is. So really be careful with that 
uh, because you, you can really ruin your name with your customers. They're going to be mad, not only mad at the person that's screwing them over, but they're going to be mad at you because you referred them. So my point where I'm going with this, and I'll stop jibber jabbing here, is if I'm going to refer something to somebody or if I'm going to have my name on something, then why not be involved? And that way the customer only deals with me. I get the payment. I set my price and uh, we take care of the job and these people, these this tree crew works for me when they are doing my tree jobs. I mean, it's a win-win. Keeps them busy and it uh, takes care of my customers that they don't have to shop around or make a call. It, it also is, every. I try my best to make it as simple as possible for my client. Regardless whether it's mowing, mulch, compost now that I offer or you know topsoil uh, whether it's tree work whether it's leaf you know cleanups fall cleanups whether it's aeration seeding overseeding I want to be the one person that can take care of all of that for my clients and one thing I have learned ninjas in business that I've been in now for 12 years I'd rather have 10 clients and offer every single service that I offer than have 50 clients and only offer one service. It's one of the reasons why I'm not really rushing to expand. I mean, we all want to grow, but I am offering more services and my customers are accepting and they're taking it on and, uh, you know, it's keeping me busy. So, anyway. And old Biggly over there, is it Biggly? Biggly? Like that. Piggly, Wiggly, Biggly? He he loves to play with that. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he loves to play with that uh, steel blower and loves to give uh, <laughs> blowjobs. I mean, it's a proper way to say it. He was blowing off these two guys earlier. What's up, buddy? I was just telling the ninjas that you love playing with that new steel. What can I say, dude? What, what is that? Turn around. Beast? Yeah. yeah. Is it the uh, BR800X? Look at that. You like it? I was just telling the ninjas you have so much fun using that blower too that you were blowing these other two guys just a minute ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta take care of your wood, you know, when they get a little dusty. Yeah, you know, sure. Little... You know, dust is the worst enemy, isn't it? It is. <laughs> All done, buddy? Yeah? As far as I know. Good. See. It might be smoke cleaner. You guys did a good job, man. Thank okay. you. Thank okay. you for... Thanks for being here. Hey, no, absolutely. Thank you for uh, knocking out these jobs safely. Hey, we tried. You know, yeah. That first That's job uh, that we did this morning, uh, when you guys left, the customer came out and they were just so happy. They were like, That's yeah, awesome. it looks great. That's awesome. It looks great. Here. Well, Ninjas, it's a wrap. We just picked all this up. Bisbee's just blowing off a little bit right there. and That's it. So we're done with this one. Now we are headed back to that other job just to finish the little bit of remainder that's left and then we're gonna call her a day figure i go ahead and conclude this video and just before we lose any more daylight but uh we're back here at the first job as you can see i got tiny back here with the dump trailer and we're just filling it up with what was right here and we're almost done we got a couple of those bigger logs but all the brush is in now as far as down here everything stays Right there what, by the wood line and behind the fence. That's what they wanted. I just noticed I missed one from earlier. So we're gonna have to pick it up, but, and it looks good. So busy B, you missed all the fun earlier. Yeah. You know, at least you got to see the ninja crew, tree crew, and uh, you get to see some of the stuff, how we do it right there at that last job. Ninjas, I hope what I've shared with you earlier has helped you. Uh, maybe opened your eyes a little bit to another form, another way of getting some income to yourself uh, outside of lawn care because at the end of the day it's all about being creative and really figuring out a way to 
have non-stop income from all different sources. Never put all your eggs in one basket. So uh, if you can outsource or work with another company with um, spraying, tree work, you know, maybe you don't do mulch, but you can find somebody that does mulch for you, whatever. So uh, as long as you have multiple forms of income, you should be uh, okay. Uh, especially during the slower time <clears throat> when it comes to lawn care. But all right, thank you for joining in in another video. Appreciate you ninjas watching. Busy B, thank you for showing up even though you were late. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish this up and uh, call it a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow. You ready? Yep. Let's get this done. Saving green. Take care, ninjas. Peace. Bye, Busy B.